Unpopular opinion, life would be boring without spaghetti. I mean, this isn't my kid, but have you ever just wanted to hit someone because they're so stupid? Like, they just say something, which is so dumb, you just kind of think, how are you not dead yet? I know a lot of people probably already know this, but I am white. I have said this before in previous videos. I am a white bread roll. I am whiter than unseasoned chicken on Thanksgiving or any dish containing chicken. And I don't think I've ever been bored and thought to myself, hmm, let me just go harass someone for the colour of their skin, because that would be so fun. <laughs> hey, welcome back everybody. Today we are looking at Gen Z and just whatever they are up to, so let's just begin. Questions I get asked about quitting my job to be a full-time TikToker. I don't think anyone really cares. I mean, I don't even think you can really even make money on TikTok, but let's see. Sending my mom my most recent first trap on TikTok to get her reaction. Yeah, I can totally believe that. Like, whenever anyone gets big on social media, the first thing they do is make a first trap and think, yeah, my mom is gonna love this. Let me just send a picture of me dry humping the floor, baby. Maybe just get my shmeat out while I'm at it and just send it to my mom because that's what a normal person would do. Girlfriend application. You spelled it wrong, Jesus Christ. I mean, just go back to school. How can you have TikTok as a full job if you can't spell application right? And, I mean, honestly, what kind of girl is going to want to find boyfriend material in some dude who sends his own first traps to his own mom? Cool story. Drawing mental spaghetti. Can you please do lactose intolerance? Bruh, Jesus Christ. British people next. Come on, that's a violation. Being British is not a mental illness. Like, come on. Honestly, I don't think it would be much of a stretch to expect people to honestly think that being British is like a physical disability with how people make fun of our teeth, apparently. And then there's just, please do ginger. Okay, bro. Like, can you just imagine if you went to the doctors and they sat you down and just said, we're sorry to tell you, but you have been diagnosed with British. You are British. That is horrendous, apparently. You're supposed to clean this out, so it's one of those things which you find like, you know, a, a dryer or the lint or whatever it's called, and it just builds up. Please put a trigger warning next time. What for? It's- it's dust! What do you need a trigger warning for dust for? It, and apparently it's just a lot. It's just a lot, apparently, that dust is just a lot of triggering symptoms. Like, it's- it's laundry. It's just- Dry laundry. How how is that triggering in any way? Oh, this looks like a sad one. A O R I P Gramps. You know he was a real one, a real G. If anyone's ever lost their grandparents, you know it's a pretty sad time. But then no, it, it's just it's just she's in the club. The same TikTok actually. It's not even like it's a separate one. It's the same TikTok. She's there at his funeral saying rest in peace, Gramps. But then she's got some slaying to do. Oh yeah, I can just imagine that's a really good pickup line in the club, like, hey, my granddad just died, and then the other guy is just like, oh, that's so hot, that's totally what I'm into, that's what I'm looking for right now, and they just start kissing, and it's really hot, and all that. <laughs> Moral of the story, this, this person sucks, like, if I, if my uh, granddaughter ever made a TikTok like this of me after I died, even though I'm not a grandfather, I'd be like, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. So this is one where someone is talking about monster energy drinks. Someone's just asked and said, it's a drink. And she's responded with, anyone can drink monster. However, people should be mindful that it is part of emo goth culture. So drinking it, taking pics with it for an aesthetic, if you're not old, can be considered offensive. So just be careful. Basically, guys, if you don't absolutely hate life and just dress in black and talk about how everything is really bad, you better stay away from monster energy drinks because this person will just F you up. I'm not even joking, like, they are serious. It's offensive to drink Monster if you're not goth or emo. God forbid, you know, they will be watching your every move if you're not doing what they want you to be doing. Don't even get me started if I catch any of you who aren't British drinking tea, all right? I will send such an angry letter to your address, you will have no idea what's coming. If you eat meat, you're vegan phobic and a massive pick me girl. You are also discriminating because you pick and choose which animals to eat based off species. 
who a chicken take the stand when it comes to what should be eaten and it's just there clucking and everyone's clapping like what what is even who makes this I mean, am I supposed to go down to the shops and think to myself, oh man, I've had so much chicken today, it might seem as a bit discriminatory. Let me just, let me just eat that blobfish right there. Mmm, tasty. Yum, love it. A year ago, I drew Kanye for my art class. Bro, why does he have a set of lips on his forehead? I mean, I'm not exactly an artist, I don't want to bash someone for their artwork, but come on. He literally has a pair of lips on his forehead. Damn, I just hit my head really hard. I think I might have a Caucasian. Bruh, how does that even make any sense? I mean, obviously, yeah, he's talking about a concussion, but here he said Caucasian. Is this like a really sinister tweet where actually he realizes he might have a Caucasian just trapped in his house somewhere? Cheers, Thomas, I'm watching you. Looks like he got diagnosed with depression from a BuzzFeed quiz. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What pronouns do you use? Now, I'm not very familiar with pronouns or anything in that sense, so if I don't understand this, do not come at me. But obviously, he's got the he, him, himself, and all that. H3, H1M. I don't know what that means. Himself, but just kind of, I don't know. IX. I, ix self. Okay. That's just a, an exclamation point. Like, what is that? Stim, stim. L loop. What's a loop meant to mean in terms of identifying someone else? And then... What is that? A cracker? What is that? I have no- I don't even know how I'd be able to even Google whatever that is. Like, cracker self? Shrimp? It looks like a little shell. I have no idea what's going on here. If anyone actually knows what any of this stuff here, because I don't want to come across like a total, like, ignorant person, but I have no idea what loop is meant to be. Or exclamation point. It's just- I have no idea. Why can't we put nicotine in salad and get addicted to salad? Popular girl in my health class 2019. Hmm, that was three years ago. That girl is probably dead. I'm just saying, if she honestly thinks that putting nicotine into salad to make everyone addicted to salad is ever going to work, it is just unbelievable. There was actually a girl in my school when we were in history class, didn't know who won World War II. She was honestly surprised to hear that the Germans lost. I mean, come on. Trigger warning, food, rice, whole Asia content will agree with me. Now, I actually looked this one up because I didn't believe that someone would put a trigger warning for a bowl of rice. But this person actually had good intentions. Basically, they didn't want to give anyone who had any eating difficulties, we'll say, to have any sort of, uh, I guess, triggering thoughts. But at the same time, I, I don't think you can hide that from people. I don't think... I could ever tweet out a picture of me eating a bucket of KFC and I'd be worried that someone's gonna have start like having heart palpitations because they see a picture of food. You know what I'm saying? I mean, obviously the good intentions were there, but it, it just comes across as a little bit silly. Well, that is gonna be enough for today of me looking at Gen Z just being a little bit weird. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you like it, be sure to like and subscribe as it really helps me out. If you have any Gen Z memes you want me to see, just send them to me on Twitter or Instagram. I would love to see what you send me. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all next time.